Dylan Reeves Fellows. Who knows what symbol the Chancellor thought I was doing as I walked up there to graduate from York for the very first time, two years late, but as many of you guys will know, I was doing an SV. Because how could I not dedicate me graduating to the student vlogs community? And you know what, in the midst of all that thinking about the symbol and the mirroring of the symbol, when I went to doth my cap to the ch Chancellor, if you look closely, I was actually just grabbing thin air. Yeah, I got a bit carried away, I missed my cap. But after two graduations in the last month, my university journey is now 100% finally over and it really does mean we have to start thinking about the next chapter not only of life but for this channel and that is exactly what I'm going to be addressing today. I only recently graduated from my masters as well so this is kind of going to be a huge update video that's probably been a long time in the works but guess what now I've got a good plan. So I'm guessing I'm like a lot of you out there I want to have a comfortable life I want to enjoy it and I also want to make enough money so that I can do whatever I want I can have a house I can go traveling etc and that might be impossible after the recent scandal of the interest rates rise for student loans what on earth absolute scandal but we're not talking about it today and to achieve this most people go down the route of getting a grad job and then they work their way up in the grad job and so on. As they get higher up in their grad job, they make more money. And that's kind of the route of achieving what I just said most people take. But for me, I've decided to go rogue. I'm not following this traditional route. Essentially, right now and going forward, I am just winging it. I'm doing a load of absolutely random stuff to make money. I'm doing YouTube, Skillshare, NFTs, trying to build a business, buying some land. It's actually quite crazy what I'm going to do uh, to try and survive, have a good life, entertaining life and so on. So I hope you do stick around, even though Student Vlogs is coming to an end because it's going to get very interesting and I'm going to be doing a lot of things that probably most people don't do in order to, to survive, to make money and obviously I would also love to try and be an actor but that, that's crazy hard. So what content is going to be on this channel going forward? Well there's three kind of categories that's going to be key. So first up, let's talk about a series that I've been doing, the University Review Series. I think with my experience at uni now, that series has to continue because it provides a lot of value, people like it. I, I made a vow to finish it. I'm a man of my word, I'm gonna finish it. And for the time being, a big question is, even though I've graduated, I'm, I'm just gonna stay student vlogs for a little while longer while I figure out what's next and uh, figure out exactly the, the sort of brand I wanna, I wanna take forward. But I'm also kind of reluctant to let go of student vlogs because that's the brand I built. So essentially the last university content is it's going to be probably for the next year while I finish off reviewing these universities across the UK with the odd rankings video because it's always good to maintain uh, in touch with how you started. So ranking videos, university reviews, that, that the student, student stuff is still going to be alive. So stick around if you want to see that. But I think it's Birmingham is up next. So yeah. And then there's two new ideas which are going to be heavily based on this, you know, being showcased on this channel. So if you remember a while back when I was first finished my drums, I was like, oh, and finished uni, I was like, what do I do with the channel? I was like, right, I'm going to buy a house within a year. And I'm then was like, maybe I should buy a camper van. And then I was kind of going between them. And then I realized how the houses are so inflated right now. And if I was to try and get a house, it would take up everything. I'd have no money to reinvest. You know, the channel projects, etc., businesses. So after doing a lot of research, a lot of listening, I've now decided, and again, it's a rogue one, that's why I think people should stick around on this channel, that the, 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 the big project, one of three projects on this channel, is going to be buying a piece of abandoned land in Portugal with ruins on, with water, with streams, and basically turning it into somewhat of a, of a paradise. I mean, I don't know what, I said paradise is a bit of an extreme one, but I'm, I'm going to do something with it. I'm going to turn it into something. And this would be more of a passion project. This would hopefully keep the channel alive as well. And it's something that, you know, if I was, you know, wherever I'm living, I'd fly out for a few weeks, work on it, maybe get a few people over to help from work away, build a house, you know. It's, it's just an interesting thing to do with my life. And I feel like it's fulfilling for me. Um, and I feel like it would be rewarding for the channel as well. Because Portugal land and Portugal living and then living off grid content works really well. And before we dive into this further, I should say that I want to be an actor, which means I have to be free and I can't really be tied down to a certain job. If I was to, let's say, get this land in Portugal, come back and forth when I needed to, if I wasn't getting any auditions or acting, I can just fly out there and work on this project. So it's kind of a good fit for me as an individual. All of the work I do is also remote, which means that, hey, I can kind of, you know, do this project while still working. If you're ever looking to buy land abroad, you know, it's, it's a gamble. It's a, it's a really big gamble. And you know what? I think Portugal is a nice, safe place to do it in. The weather's good. It's a different climate. It's cheap. I mean, England is crazy expensive. That's why I'm not doing it here. It's a long process. 
Essentially, there's a few different plots right here that I'm looking at. They range from about 10,000 to 25,000 meters squared. They're in Portugal, they've got ruins on. And basically, I'll explain in super loads of detail the whole process and why this piece versus that piece and how the whole thing works, because God, it is complicated. But I feel like it's a risk. It's like if you bought land in the Philippines on like Shargao, one of the great islands, 50 years ago, that's done 500 times your money today. You know what I'm saying? I've got my hot investments I make while I'm young. I've got a whole life to reap the rewards. It's going to be an interesting journey. Stick around for that bit. So going from having no land to finding a piece to buying it, to visiting it, to renovating it, to building stuff, to digging a swimming pool, to turning it into a paradise, paradise. It's going to be a big theme on this channel for the next few years. Huge thing to do. In relation to a camper van, that might come later on. In relation to buying a house within a year, this buying a land and doing this up is going to be the main substitute for that. I think I'm not ready to go into the house market yet, I've decided. I'm here to take bigger and roger risks. So that is what I'll do. <laughs> and at this point, I want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can develop and enhance your creative skills. You can learn languages to how to edit videos, to how to use After Effects, to how to paint, to how to market your business. You can learn so many things on Skillshare. They've been a consistent sponsor. And I genuinely think of all the things that you can do in your spare time, if you're looking to improve your personal capital, Skillshare is a great platform to do this on. I myself have a few classes on how I started my YouTube channel, how to build it up, how to edit videos. And I'm learning Spanish currently at the moment by Peter Hanley for beginners. Because, you know, when I go to Portugal, having a good fundamental understanding of Spanish and Portuguese, very intertwined, is going to be perfect. So you can already see the real world application of some of the stuff on Skillshare. I think it's great for anybody out there looking to be productive. So the first 1,000 people to use my link down in the description below or my code will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. So thank you very much to them for sponsoring today's video and please do check out my classes as well. So I didn't go into too much detail on the first Portuguese project because that's going to be coming in future videos along with the university review series and ranking series. So you've got two main series, the core series of this channel. And then the final thing on this channel, because the th okay, so the thing about, I want to be an actor, right? The thing about acting is there's not always a lot of content that is good for YouTube from acting day in the lives every now and then, but it's just consistent hard work, consistent rejections. And I think what I'll do, I'll keep that in a bubble over there. And if I ever pop up on your TV screen, respect, you see me, I'll, I'll be grateful I've made it. But I think my calling is to do other stuff on YouTube. And then the third series on the channel is going to be like any other graduate and like a lot of graduates, I do want to move to London very soon. Me and a few friends are looking into it. Hopefully by July, June, we're going to be in London. Um, I'm going to start a series all about, you know, like they do in New York, how London living is, how much, you know, the cost to live, apartment tours. And combined with that London life sort of series, it's going to be about my businesses, how I make money, what I do with my money. So you've kind of got a bit of a lifestyle piece of content there in, in terms of London living and, you know, that sort of world because it's such a big world. And you'll definitely be able to expect a lot of cool content coming from from that side of the world. And if anybody's looking to move out into London, me and a friend are potentially looking, and another friend are potentially looking for a, a few more people to join us. So definitely hit me uh, DMs after this if, you, if you're still here. So to round up, that is pretty much the direction of my life at the moment um, and the direction of this channel. Now, I've also got uh, a channel which is dedicated to my best travel spot finds, Dylan's Travels. I've got a random tutorial channel, Dylan and Co. Um, so I've got a, you know, a few other channels. If you're looking for additional content, please do go and check them out. But right now, you know, you know my interest, traveling, hence the, you know, business and money, land, you know, and it's just acting. So I'm trying to combine all of these interests they're going to be on the channel. I want to do interesting stuff. I want to do cool stuff. My life is very, very rogue compared to a lot of people's. And while I'm young, I can sustain it. So I want to showcase it. So thank you very much for being part of this journey. I finally graduated. I finally did it. You know, and, and when I was graduating, actually, a lot of people were coming up to me saying, oh, Dylan, your stream vlogs, I like your videos help me. I liked your videos. Firstly, I should definitely be on commission from University of York. I, I reckon I've referred a lot of people to uni, like people, like at least 10 people were telling me I've referred them. Just imagine 10 people, that's £27,000 a year, that's £270,000 a year. York should sponsor me. Yeah, but I want to say thank you to everybody that's always seen me, been nice, student vlogs, everybody's always really nice and everybody, you know, is, is respectful and I'm glad that people actually like my content and I'm glad they watch it and as a farewell to the university journey, I could happily say going to uni changed my life in ways that I didn't expect it to. 
Um, but here's to the next chapter. And I hope you're going to join me and I look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching today. Subscribe and I'll see you again soon. All up in my head, that's how I behave. Passing up the same, waking up the same. All up in my head, that's just how I behave.